I could fall off today. I'm still Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to do a boot Mac OS X Lion into VirtualBox. So first of all for this tutorial you'll of course need VirtualBox and Lion iAdcos which will the link will be in the description so let's begin. First of all open um, VirtualBox as you can see I already have Mac OS X Lion running but um, for you just create new and go through the process click next and over here type in Mac and um, change the version to Mac OS X Server 64 bit. If you don't do this, it won't work. So, and then click next. Um, assign how much RAM um, RAM you want for your virtual machine. Um, if you give it too much, your current system will slow down. And if you don't give it enough, your virtual machine will be slow and lag quite a bit. So just give it about even. Yeah. If you have four gig, give it two gig. If you have eight gig, give it four gig. So. Follow the steps, click next, and um, your virtual hard drive size should be um, 20 GB default, but you can change that to more or less. That's up to you, but 20, 20 GB is default. Click next, and click create. Create again. And as you can see, there's your new virtual machine. Click on settings. And after that loads up, um, go into system. See where it says extended features under motherboard. Um, you can see enable EFI special OSs only. Deselect that. Go underneath processor. That's up to you. Depends how fast your machine, your, C, um, your CPU is, or how much cores you have. Um, in this case, I have eight, eight CPUs. So I'm assigning it two for the virtual machine. Click that and see it says extended features enable P P A E N X. That has to be enabled or the tutorial won't work again. So. Click on storage next, and um, underneath ID controller, it says empty, so there's like no OS selected yet. Um, underneath CD disk drive, you see um, you'll see a disk. Click on that. Click on choose a virtual CD disk file. Navigate to where your your iHead cost is downloaded to. In this case, it's already here. So just double click it, and it should show that it's been attached to your virtual machine. And click OK. And now I can start your virtual machine. Power up your virtual machine and it should open up. Over here, press F8 and it'll take you to the screen. Um, let me just make it full screen. Just one second. Um, over here, type in B U S. R A T I O equals 20. So that's bus, bus ratio equals 20. Click enter. And you can see your Mac OS powering up. Mac OS is live. And I'll take you to the installation steps. This takes quite a long time, so you might want to go grab a drink or something to eat. As you can see, it's taking you to the installation step where you can choose your, your system defaults and your. Yeah. And over here, and let you choose your main language. If you don't speak English, you can choose whatever you want. But in this case, we're choosing English. Click next.
and click continue agree and over here you cannot see any disks it says select the disk where you want to install I had cost L1 but since you can't see any disks you'll have to go to utility click on disk to utility click on um, your virtual box hard drive and on the top you should see erase click erase and um, name name the virtual hard drive whatever you want in this case again Mac and click erase erase and you can see it partitioning the disk and creating a new partition over there and you can see it should appear over there soon and there you go Mac exit the tab and over there you can see your Mac installation disk click customize and choo uh, choose your bootloaders and your uh, your, your uh, drivers and your patches so um, I'm going to choose the original Apple bootloader instead of the Charmeleon bootloader and you can scroll down and your bootloader shell um, should be depending on your machine um, it should um, choose it by itself but um, mine is Charmeleon so yeah uh, select all your drivers you don't want anything to be missing or don't want any of your don't want your screen to be small or big yeah and click OK and click install now this process takes quite a long time it says about 12-13 minutes but it ends up taking 20 minutes so um so yeah, you could wait around or yeah okay this tutorial will be continued in part 2 of my video so you can check it out on my channel I could fall off today. I'm still, still a famous nigga, hoe. Homie, y'all fly, nigga, for sure. Okay, now put your ass.